throwing for 189 yards and a TD. Mr. Smith, uh, is Wentz back in the MVP conference? Uh, I think he may be. And the reason why I say that, the numbers are not outstanding. They don't knock his socks off. Against the Jets, he didn't have to do much yesterday. Basically, a game managed 17 to 29, 189 yards. This brother has not thrown an interception since week two. A matter of fact, it's the only game this year he's thrown an interception. You're talking about the Eagles leading the league in dropped passes. I think the number is at 12 or 13 and counting. He's been he's been quarterback in this team without much of a running game, without Deshaun Jackson. Now Sean Jeffrey missed a couple of games and what have you. You had a couple of rookies. You know, Nelson Aguilar dropped a game when he touched down against the Atlanta Falcons. He should have caught that pass. Whiteside dropped the game when it touched down against the Detroit Lions. That would have been a victory. They could easily be 5-0 and as we're speaking. And the way that he has been playing and leading this franchise, if the Eagles continue to win with the attention that the Cowboys have garnered throughout the offseason and coming into the first few weeks of this season, Max, if Carson Wentz continues to be effective enough, again, we're talking about MVP caliber conversation. Uh, well, you we're and I give, totally we're, disagree we're, we're about not this. giving him no edge over Mahomes or yeah, Deshaun yeah. Watson or anybody like that. But in terms of the conversation, if the Eagles continue to look this way with him, yeah. You and I totally disagree sure. about this. Look, sure. I think a whole lot of Wentz. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here going, if there was no such thing as Patrick Mahomes, you know, we'd be pointing to him. Can he be the next Aaron Rodgers or something I'd like that? I'd be pointing that. to Deshaun Watson personally. But um, well, Deshaun Watson's another good pick. But I really think a lot of Wentz, but no, no. He's not putting up the numbers. He's not uh, winning enough. He's not making great decisions. He's not super accurate. He's not, like, I don't. I see too frequently the team not playing for him, you know? And look, I understand we have to make these grand inferences, right? This is the nature of our job from small kind of pieces of evidence, small sample sizes. Um, nevertheless, and, and sometimes that, that's at odds with, like, we're trying to make all the pieces fit. And, and I'm having kind of that problem with the Eagles because they beat Washington close to open the season. Washington's a disaster. They lose to the Falcons. They lose to the Lions. And then they turn around and they beat the Packers on the road. And, and, and then at least for the, the Jets game, for the first time, they whooped up on a team that they were supposed to whoop up on. Like yeah. when you're barely beating Washington and you're losing to the Falcons, stuff like that, you're like, what is this team? And then that impressive win against the Packers, but actually the Jets win is not nearly as impressive as it looks. I understand the score was wide, but two defensive touchdowns. Right? Like you get you score two touchdowns off of defensive plays. The offense is sputtering. And the offense, who's really in charge of that offense? It's Carson Wentz. I'm sorry, Stephen A. I don't see him. At, I see him as potentially an MVP caliber talent, mm -hmm. but I don't see him as in that conversation. Well, first of all, we definitely see things differently in this particular notion because I don't see him misfiring on a multitude of targets the way that you do. I see guys dropping passes more than I see him uh, missing targets. But I will come back and ask you a question because you bring this up a lot. Max Kellerman, I want to know where is your evidence when you say, quote, I don't feel like guys play for him. You know, he was five and six last year after coming off the injury, missing a run to the Super Bowl. Foles was your backup. He guided you to a Super Bowl. Then he's there as the backup again. When you go five and six, you're recovering from that nasty knee injury. Everybody knows that. And I know and I, I know what you're going to defer to in terms of the report by Joe, so you can, I'll leave that to you. To no, up. I don't. I mean, but I'm just saying that I don't see any evidence that the Eagles – don't play for Carson Well, Wentz. I mean, first of all, the Nick Foles evidence. And, again, we sure. have to make these grand inferences off these, like, isolated pieces of information. Mm -hmm. But in, in terms of Nick Foles, it's the same team. Well, coach tried to do less with Wentz and that, or more with Wentz, and that was a problem. And when he tried to do less with Foles, he let the running game take over. It's, it was, you know, two separate seasons where in each instance the team came alive when you put the backup in. Now, Foles is, is a little extra that way. Guys really like him. But it highlighted the fact that not, whether or not they liked Carson Wentz, he wasn't galvanizing the troops, as you would say, Stephen A. Mm -hmm. And I see it again. I just see a flat team. I don't see a team playing with um, real identity or passion oftentimes when I watch the Eagles. And I'm sorry I put that on the quarterback. You know, I, especially given the reporting that came out about the way the locker room felt about Wentz. And I want to say again, not that he's a bad guy, not that they dislike him, but that he has not yet really learned how to lead that locker room. And I'll mention again also, the things I'm hearing now is he's made strides. 
and, and people can see that. They can tell that. But I don't think those strides, I think there are more strides to make still. And then the team will play more evenly than they've been playing. The only thing I have to say about that is if you have a Super Bowl champion who is your backup, one could imagine that that is the difficulty. It's not about wins. It's about the fact that Nick Foles was such a viable option. Now that he's gone and the team is clearly Carson Wentz and nobody else, and they've made that clear with the contract, they've given him to validate his significance. There's you think he played well last, yesterday? Nothing. Would you think that's good I, Wentz? I, 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 no, no, no. He's I much didn't better. think so. He's much I didn't think he played well. That. He's much better All right, than Cowboys that. Cowboys and Eagles tied atop the NFC Sleepwalk East that one. at 3-2. Yeah. and two. Coming up next, has like Dak a made a giant mistake by not signing a contract extension earlier in the season? We'll debate that and much more. Don't go anywhere. 